still unbelievable. We're still numb. They say it feels like just yesterday. We don't understand how this could have even occurred. A parent's worst nightmare. And then when we walked into the NICU, just the look on the doctor and nurse's face, we knew. It wasn't good news. Robert Cordova and Melissa Viapondo lost their 20-year-old son Isaiah one year ago in what police are calling a case of mistaken identity. He had no idea the evil that was lurking upon him. And it could have been anybody driving a silver BMW. But for Isaiah's parents, a year has gone by with no answers. The pain that we have in our hearts can't describe and it doesn't get any easier. So today, News 5 went back to the lead investigators working on this case. Do you have any persons of interest? Yeah, there we do. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, of different names that have been uh, uh, out there, and you know we work to eliminate uh, each possible suspect. Captain Eric Bravo says this case has been like piecing together a puzzle. He couldn't get into specific details, but he did say new information has recently come to light. Uh, you know, after time passes, relationships sour. People who were friends a year ago aren't friends today. And so there's people that are talking with us. Uh, there's physical evidence that we're, we're sifting through. So there's a lot of progress on the case. He wasn't ready to release the name of the man they're building a case against. I just want to make sure we have the best case we can have when we move forward with it and uh, I think we owe that to the family. A sigh of relief for the family who says this news is one step closer to finding closure. We just hope that they can move forward with more people coming forward and, and speaking about this senseless death uh, of our son.